Welcome to Cecil Global's YouTube channel. My name is Kweku Essien, Chief Commercial Officer for Cecil Global. I'm very excited to be standing here with Mr. Franco Pong, who's a manager at Republic Bank's mortgage business. He's going to take you through a master class on what Republic Bank offers to its clients, both local and in the diaspora. Ghanaians who are local and in the diaspora who are looking for mortgage products here in Ghana. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned on this video to learn a lot more about how you can own your home in Ghana and create generational wealth. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kweku Essie and I'm Chief Commercial Officer for Cecil Global, uh, the leading Af African real estate platform that ensures trust and transparency at the core of what we do, utilizing technology. I'm very, very, very proud and happy to be sitting here with Mr. Frank Opong, who's a senior manager at Republic Bank in charge of the mortgage business here at Republic Bank, the leading uh, mortgage bank in Ghana that has been at the forefront of mortgages in Ghana for decades. Um, Cecil Global is quite happy uh, to announce that we are partnered with Republic Bank to offer mortgages to the diaspora. These are Ghanaians who live in the US, UK, Canada, who have been looking at the, the myriad of opportunities in real estate in Ghana, have been seeing the boon in you know, condominium style buildings in and around the inner, uh, inner Accra, uh, the luxurious uh, family style townhouses that sit you know, in and around the suburbs of the crowd as well and I want to be a part of this opportunity. I want to be part of the, the home ownership ladder in Ghana uh, and I've been seeking a way to do it in a financially fiscal and responsible manner. Uh, we're quite proud to be partnered here with Republic Bank who provide the lowest rates possible. Uh, and so really, really thank you very much uh, Frank for thank joining you. us here today. And for the purposes of this video, we really want it to be as comprehensive as possible to answer your questions. You know, I'm sure there are a lot of questions around what it is uh, Republic Bank does, how is Cecil partnered, etc. And so, uh, at the end of the video, you know, please feel free to reach out and reach out to us in our contacts below. We have our platform link as well below, where you can view a myriad of properties that have been approved by the bank and also start your journey. Uh, uh, in understanding what the requirements and how to apply for the mortgage. So again, thank you very much. And so, you know, perhaps I'll start with, you know, the, the obvious questions, but uh, what, what uh, mortgages, what types of mortgages that the bank offer? Thank you very much, Kweku, and thank you for um, anyone listening to us today. Um, I'm Republic Bank, which has been offering mortgages for over 180 years. Wow. And in Ghana, we traveled over 30 years. In fact, in Ghana, we started off as a home finance company. Mm. Then we became HFC Bank mm. and metamorphosed into Republic Bank Ghana PLC. And our main focus of business has been on mortgages, that is giving loans for individuals to acquire residential property or giving loans to in, um, companies to acquire residential property either for their personal use or for investment purpose. So we, with this um, business focus, we have a number of products. We have home pages, which is acquiring a completed property that is working. So you move into the property and then everything is completed. You move your bag and baggage and you occupy. And then we have home completion that is helping people who have complete started construction of their properties to a balanced level to complete it in time. Indeed, in Ghana, it's estimated that people take between five to 10 years to complete their residential properties, and that is not good enough. So we give you the facility to help you complete your property in time. Say six months, you move into it and you start honoring your repayments. And then we have home improvement. Home improvement is when individuals who have houses but are in a dilapidated state. So you come in and we give you finance and to put it in the best shape you could ever be. Whether you occupy it or 
you rent it out or for any other people investment or for personal use. Then we also have home equity. This home equity is, is a product that has been designed for people who have existing properties, interesting property, or have got an investment in property. Then you, li you liquidate the money invested in the property, the equity that you have in the property. So for example, you have an existing property that is valued 500,000 Ghana CDs or 500,000 dollars. As the property there it has that latent value that is sitting in it, you can come to the bank and we will give you 80% of the forced sale value, which comes between 60% of the open market price. That is, if we were to sell the property as it stands, about 60% is money you can take out and still use the property or still rent the property and take that money and use it to acquire another property or invest it into other businesses. Mm. Yes, wow. so this is home equity. Then we also have buy land and build. You buy the land, you build and you own. So individuals who have land with a title that is titled, we are able to give you money. You start the construction and, all in, and then we give you the money in tranches and you are able to build to completion. So these and many other products are what we have. In fact, with the home improvement, people are even able to um, as you refurbish your property, you can get money for air conditioners and all manner of mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. you know. So that is what Republic Bank has to offer to everybody. That is very, very interesting and that's very comprehensive. And I think even what's more impressive is that it fits very well with what the market needs. Exactly. Right? exactly. And uh, I think Republic Bank, of course, with all these decades of experience, has, understands what people have been requesting and have been creating products for these type of clients, right? And especially for those in the diaspora who have properties here, perhaps that you want to improve or utilize for Airbnb, etc. Uh, I think this is a wonderful opportunity for them I think as so. well, right? I think so very much. And so, you know, perhaps some questions that clients may ask. Well, do you offer fixed rate or uh, is it um, a, variable a variable rate? rate? So what we do is that um, our, our rates do not change very, very often. Yeah. And whatever rate you key in, for example, if we're taking a mortgage today, our dollar rate is 11.5 percent per annum yeah. and it happens to be the lowest on the market so if you key in if we book your, your loan at 11.5 percent it does not change yeah. over the term of the loan right, right. and we give 15 years to non-resident Ghanaians yeah. or age up to your retirement right. if 15 years um, um, for, for example if somebody is 60 years old and you'll be going on retirement at 65, yeah. then you have five years. Got it, got it. But if somebody has, is 30 years, yeah. then he has 15 years as got a non-resident Ghanaian. So it. by age 45, you can you would have finished paying that mortgage and could take another one. Got it, got it, got it. Got well, it. Got it, got it, okay. got it got so it. that's how it works. Got it, got so our interest rate does not vary. But if you have not keyed in and it varies, you'll be affected by any changes, whether it goes down or up depending on the time that mortgage is being assessed. Okay, and so I just to be clear, I mean, can this be negotiated anywhere or you're saying it's very definite, these, these rates, interest rates? We, we, we are very sure of the rate, but sometimes you can get an institution yeah. that has a number of people coming on board. Yeah. In that case, the company can look at the rate. Or, and, 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 and in such instances, you may also have an institution, and this is more to Ghanaians yeah. and the institutions in Ghana. Yeah. The institution can, let's say, let's bring in this fund yeah. and then use the proceeds to offset part of the interest rate. That is possible. Got it, got it. Okay, that's very interesting. But I guess for the most part, for most clients, really, there is a, a, a fixed rate. Uh, so, oh, excellent. And so, Perhaps let's delve into you know the qualification and approval process, right? So really, who's eligible for this for this uh, uh, um, uh, product? Uh, what's the criteria for getting a mortgage with the institution? Every Ghanaian God, qualifies. Perfect. Every Ghanaian. That's the interesting part. Yes. And every foreigner who is married to a Ghanaian yes. qualifies. Excellent. And every foreigner 
who has a working permit in Ghana for more than five years qualifies. Got it, got it. Got it. You know, so if you are a foreigner, for example, and you are married to a Ghanaian, better in which push size, whether female or male, yeah. you can use your income okay. and age to qualify. So income and age yeah. are the main um, um, components that is needed. Yeah. Because we, the company's policy is such that you should not be paying mortgage when you are retirement. Mm. You should have finished paying for the mortgage before going on retirement. Mm. So if you have, the younger you are, the more the number of years you have will be more than somebody close to retirement. Okay, excellent. So this is very interesting. So all Ghanaians, Ghanaians who live in the diaspora, US, UK, etc., you're working there, you still qualify as long as you are defined as a Ghanaian exactly. under law. Uh, and for those that uh, are married, you're also very lucky. You're, you're married to a Ghanaian, you're lucky already. Exactly. Uh, you also get to uh, uh, own a property. Yes. For those that are interested, you know, uh, you might want to get uh, start getting married to Ghanaians very soon, <laughs> right? Uh, uh, and so that's also very good. And I like the last point as well. Those with a work permit as well for here for five years are also eligible for for a mortgage. Uh, tell me that really, you know, a lot of people perhaps complain about this, but how, how long does it take to get a mortgage? What's the what's the it's, time? It's, it's a very simple process. We've made it so simple. Yeah. All you need to do is to identify a property. Yeah. Okay, you take an offer letter from the bank vendor, yeah. and then you complete that application form. Yeah. In a matter of Week days, you get approval. Yeah. If what we, we, you get a response from us, whether we have approved uh, or whether we require additional information from you, right. or whether and then how much money you'll be given. Got it. The policy of the bank is that on the home purchase, especially, we give eighty percent loan to value. Got it. What that means is, assuming the property value is hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars and your income qualifies you for the 100,000, we will give you 8%, which is $80,000. Then your equity contribution will be 20,000, which will now be 20%. Got it, got That's what it, we got do. It, got it, got it. So we approve it on that under, under basis, and then we communicate with you. So it's a very, in, a, in fact, if the customer is forthcoming with all the requirements, like your income, your bank statement, yeah. and then your credit report. These are the main three important documents we need. Your income, yeah. which will be indicated by your employers, yeah. or your employment letter, yeah. and then your bank statement, which confirms the receipt of this income into your account, yeah. and then your credit report, which shows that you are credible, you show, shows your credit worthiness. Yeah. These are very important. You add it to the application form, yeah. you submit it to us, we are good to go. Excellent. So, in, in a matter of days, in not a matter weeks. of days. Wow. And I, I remember you even saying yeah, it's five days perhaps yeah. for even one client that provided their, all their information. Of course, here at Cecil, we're very happy to assist you through finding that particular exactly. property, right, that you're looking for, right, and then helping you just fill out that application and the information. And then once you have that full packet, Republic Bank is really sort of confirming here today that in a matter of days, you know, they are ready to disperse those funds if all checks out. So um, tell me then, I mean, and perhaps this is a bit obvious, but I'll ask the question. Does the client need to open an account to Republic Bank, right? And what are the requirements for, for opening this account? It is, it's so important that because a mortgage is a long-term relationship that one would have to establish with the bank. For example, the minimum period for mortgage will be five years, yeah. and then you have 10 years, and you have 15 years. Yeah. And for the resident Ghanaian who wants to travel the long haul will have 20 years. So if you want to have that kind of relationship with the bank, you must have an account. Yeah. Because we need to avoid repayment fatigue, mm -hmm. where people will have to be commuting from one end to another, making monthly repayments on the mortgage. So if you have an account, all that happens is you re, you send the money. Either if you live abroad, you transfer the money into your account, and at the end of the month, it is deducted. Yeah. Okay. And if you are a Ghanaian, you can route your salary through the bank right. in your account. At the end of the month, yeah. it is deducted from your salary. Got it. Got you know, it. So it makes it simple. And all that we need 
is you, information about you. Yeah, yeah. To open enough. an account. That's all. Yeah, fair enough. You fill the you've completed mortgage application for yeah. and you provide that with your ID card. Yes, yes, that's yes. That's it. Yes. Okay, excellent. So I, I, I think that's very clear, that's very yeah. simple. So obviously you, you talked here right now actually about the minimum down payment, which I believe is 20%. Is yeah. that 20% for all the different types of products? <clears throat> um, we have home pages, which is the leading product. Yes. And that is where the 20% um, actually is prevails. Yes. The other products such as home completion, Yeah. You need to do bills of quantity to let us know material costs, labor costs, and this is structured. Yeah. Okay. And we will want to finance fifty percent of the costs of the of, of the construction. Got it. Got it. But indeed, haven't acquired the land is yeah. cost. Yes. Having built at a foundation level all the way to lentil level, yeah. you have already covered the fifty percent. Yeah. So we come in to help you complete Please. as wow. a home completion. Wow. Wow. So you do the bills of quantity and we we, we assess you that you qualify for that money yeah. and we structured it in tranches yeah. and in months. Yeah. So we structured it in in value and in time. Yeah. So we say that you must finish this property in six months. Yeah. First month we give you you complete that portion of the work we inspect, we recommend second payment and it continues maybe the third or the fourth payment yeah. and you finish. The idea is that you must be able to finish the property within that short time to yeah. one, avoid price fluctuation mm. in the market. Mm. Two, if you were renting the property, you would have stopped renting and move into this new property yeah. and use the previous, um, your rental, expenses to honor your repayment. Three, if you had to rent that property, it will also give you income mm -hmm. and it will help you honor your repayment. Yes. So we are very conscious of the value yeah. and the time and we always advise people to avoid gold plating mm -hmm. where we have decided that this is the type of finish and you do a superior one yeah. because that will eat into the budget and will prevent you from completing the property on the time stipulated. And this is very, very important. In fact, home completion mortgage is very important for Ghanaians. As you know, a lot of people build over their lifetime, yeah. right? But this particular mortgage is telling you that you can complete it in six months. That's right. With, with, uh, with, uh, with the partnership of the bank. So um, tell me then, with respect to, let's say, uh, um, a, a, a home purchase mortgage in particular, when is the deposit required to be paid for that particular property? We will usually, after we have appraised the customer's income age and all the parameters, um, we now write to you yeah. and ask you to qualify you of how much, inform you of how much we have qualified you. Yeah. And then we will ask you to lodge that deposit yeah. into your account with the bank Got it. and then go through so you have few other things you may need to do the developer will also have his responsibility and some of them are the developer will have to transfer the title in the land or the property into your name Got and will also do a search yes. at appropriate public institution to ensure that the interest there is an incumbent Yes. That it has no litigation or any problem with the interest, yeah. and the interest is genuine. And then transfer document from the developer will be done in your name, yeah. that will be executed. And then as we pay the developer, our 80% will be added to your 20%, and it is released to the developer. And at the end of the month, you will start with your repayment, Got and you pay it bit and pieces over the term of the mortgage. Excellent. And uh, in fact, uh, one point that I, you made that was very, very important, I think for a lot of customers who are, and prospects who are looking, are looking to utilize this mortgage, is the fact that the title search is done. You know, for a bank, as of course yourself, risk is a high, high, high priority. And uh, um, I think one of the real, real benefits of, you know, utilizing a mortgage with a bank to purchase your property is that, you know, you are ensured that, exactly. you're ensured that the title uh, is, is secure on, on exactly. the particular property. Exactly. So uh, um, just with respect to the deposit as well and perhaps some of the questions around this, what is the difference between, uh, um, of course, I think the bank can only provide a mortgage or a payment to a property that has been fully built. But what if an, an individual is looking at an off-plan development? What is typically the process there? Okay, so if it's an off-plan, 
the, the process does not differ too much. The only thing is that at the time of disbursement, of, because it's a home purchase, the disbursement is tied to the completion of the property. So we can appraise the customer um, then write to the developer and assure the developer of the customer's approval yeah. and then the amount the person has been granted yeah. and everything. Yeah. Then we ask the developer to develop. Right. And indeed, it's a good product because when the developer has so many customers yeah. in the pipeline that we have approved, we can as well give the developer a construction finance to help him complete the God, property God, quickly God, God. so that the customers can have their property. Yes. Okay, so for example, if you have 10 people and it's $1 million, yeah. and then you need 500000 or 600000 to complete the property, yeah. the bank should be in the position to help you yes. so that at the time of payment, we can now yeah, 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 take yeah. the money. That's excellent, and I think that's very key for a lot of developers who are exactly. even watching this, uh, who are very keen about this. They even want to maybe perhaps push clients through to utilize your mortgages here, in the sense that uh, uh, it'll help them build much quicker. Exactly, it'll help much more supply into the market as well. So I think this is fantastic. Uh, and tell me a little bit about the closing costs, you know, associated with a loan, and uh, can can these closing costs be added to the loan amount, or how is it typically done? Well, most of the um, closing activities, let me put it activities, um, uh, include something like insurance. Yeah. You will have to do, as a customer acquiring a mortgage, you have to do life insurance and do hazard insurance. Yeah. The first has to do with yourself. Yes. When, in case you decide to go to heaven earlier than all of us, then we do not ask your, the bank does not ask your nest of kin to not pay the money yeah. or the bank does not take the property back. Yeah. The bank business is not the sale of property. Yes. The bank business is to give money, yeah. we borrow money or yeah. we buy money and we sell money. Yes. So what we do is that the insurance will now take care of the outstanding amount of the loan. Yeah. We'll pay the bank, then the property will go to your nest of kin. Got it, got it. And in case the property also is gutted with any hazardous condition like earthquake, fire or anything, yeah. then the fire and hazard insurance will now restore the property into its original state so that you can continue enjoying it. Mm -hmm. So these are very important and these yeah. are costs that you have to bear. And then because the bank is interested in title, yes. we will have to register your title on your behalf because the security of the loan is a document, the interest that has been transferred to you, the buyer. Yeah. So we take that interest, which is in the maybe in the form of a lease or an assignment document, then we take it to appropriate public institutions yeah. and register. Yeah. So the payment that is required, like the stamp duty and all those ones, are the costs that we give you yeah. as the closing costs. Got it, got it. Got okay. It. So you pay the money to us, yeah. which you would have paid to those institutions anyway, Fair enough, if you yes. had to do it on your own. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe the processing and facility fee. Okay. This, so these are the only few things that you will have to you yes. have to do. And you are asking whether they could be added yes. to. It is it is dependent on each case. Yes. You see, we we tailor made products, so it is dependent on each case. Ideally, you have to pay. But if it comes to crunch and the bank will have to look at it carefully and say that this person um, has could qualify for so much, yeah. okay, we can look at what should be done. But you have to, it's an ideal situation that you have to pay, that, that's ideal situation. Yes, we also have another product we call um, collateral replacement indemnity. Mm -hmm. And this question brings to mind it helps you get 100% mortgage. Mm. Yes. Wow. So, for example, somebody whose income um, is so high, but he hasn't got a 20% yeah. to pay, he can take insurance on the 20%, yeah. and then the bank will give you 100% mortgage. Yeah. Then the insurance will take care of the 20% um, that deposit that you should have paid. Yeah. You know, that's how it goes. Excellent. So, so our products are we most of the time are tailor-made yeah, yeah looking at the situation and we craft something around it 
to suit their personal needs. I, I like this very much. It's, of course, the bank has been here for decades, has seen it all, and has crafted you know packages for different people, but also understands that sometimes there are specific yeah. you know instances as well, and specific situations, and so can be somewhat flexible depending yeah. on the situation with the client. And so I think for those out there, very important to to understand this. So you know, just in terms of. Perhaps we can go to repayment and any type of penalties because sometimes these do occur, right? Uh, but are, are there any prepayment penalties or fees if an individual happens to, you know, have some cash and pay the loan early? Well, um, these are um, prepayment issues are issues that are handed over to us from our from Bank of Ghana. It is not a bank is on the session, so the condition of prepayment conditions in terms of payment penalties or anything come from what Bank of Ghana says yep. and currently what Bank of Ghana has instructed is that if we, somebody has to make such a payment the penalty is 0.25 percent mm. very small zero point so if it is say hundred thousand dollars 0.25 percent to be about how much but say 250 yeah okay so yeah so it is not a deterrent. Yes, fair enough. Okay, that, that, I think that's, that's good to know. Uh, and tell me um, as well, and this maybe adds to the prepayment, but can people make additional monthly payments as well if they are a bit more flux, begin to pay a bit more per month? Yeah, and you, <coughs> we have, in fact, we have different form of payments. Yeah. We make it so flexible. We have bi-weekly payments. Got it. We have semi-monthly payments. And then we have monthly payment. Yeah. Then we have quarterly payments. Yeah. So whichever way you, whichever one that is acceptable to you, you adopt. The bi-weekly payment is that you pay every two weeks, yeah. and it helps because as you you pay every two weeks, remember that the principal portion of the mortgage is what determines your correspond the, the interest rate. Yeah. So if you pay make a principal reduction on your loan every week because every repayment is in two components, principal and interest. Yeah. So as you service your principal every two weeks, the principal reduces faster. Mm. And therefore your interest payment to the bank will be lower. Got it. At the end of the term, you realize that you'd have saved about 20 to 25%. Got it, got and we have it there. Okay. It's bi-weekly payment. And we have semi-monthly payment. The semi-monthly payment is when you pay it at the middle of the month. Yeah. So on the 15th you pay, another 15th you pay, like that. And then we have our normal monthly payment, which yeah. comes off at the end of the month. And some people, the structure of their uh, inflows is such that they don't get money um, monthly in shorter intervals as many people do. So we're able to agree for them to make quarterly payments. Yeah. So at the end of the three months you bring you honor your repayments and then it goes. You see. So each one of these, we can listen to you and see where we should position you. Excellent, excellent. So perhaps let me just go to the credit requirements. So you did touch on this, but perhaps just to expand it a little bit. But in terms of credit score, right? How does that affect? Does it affect at all the interest rate? Or and as well, is there a specific credit score you're looking at, or does that change based on? you know, time and uh, as well. This credit score itself <coughs> show us credit worthiness of the individual. Yeah. And for us, it does not affect the interest rate. It only tells us whether we should give or we should not give. Yes. Okay. Because we wouldn't want to give a loan to somebody who has poor credit score mm. or credit worthiness. So we look at it and we, if, if for example, somebody might have um, a poor credit card record yeah. and then um, or might have a, lo a loan that he might have missed repayments about two three times and therefore brought the credit score low yeah. we we'll ask you to go and make good yeah. and then you come back got it, got okay it, got it, got it. so it is something to give us the kind of person we are dealing with yeah help us know but it does not it only advise us whether to go or not to Okay, got it. And the interpretation is from different, you know, we have different credit score agencies. Yes. 
some will call it fair and fair will be good. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. will call it good and good will be fair. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So we look at the percentage. Got it, got it, got it. You look at the full picture the of full the individual picture before. Already, yeah. Okay. Now, perhaps let's talk about customer service, you know, which is you know, a big thing for especially a lot of the, the, the diaspora clients we deal with. You know, we've dealt with Republic Bank and I've been quite, you know, happy with, you know, the way in which Republic Bank works with our clients. Uh, but perhaps, you know, is this good for you uh, yourself to mention it to, to the clients out there, uh, prospects? How does uh, Republic Bank, uh, uh, what kind of customer support is available during and uh, um, after the loan as well? Indeed, we have centralized our business now. Got it. So we have trained mortgage specialists. And from the beginning of the origination, you are assigned to a specialist. And that specialist will take you through all the processes, the necessary education, and respond to all your queries. Handles it at all with this best. When we are this best, we hand you over to a uh, monitoring and administration section got it, got it. where I am now yeah. and we will also take you through and let you know what you are supposed to be doing yeah. your repayment will communicate to you and everything so as far as our um, customer service is concerned I think it's it's more than what we should we, we are doing well we are doing extremely well and our feedback from our customers indicate that our customers are satisfied we, and we have a strict policy. The bank itself has a strict policy uh, to ensure that uh, staff meet customers' expectations yeah. and we respond to as we should. So our customer service is, is on top. I, I completely agree and I've dealt with a lot of people, of course, Frank, you, yourself and the members of the team who have been very kind and gentle throughout this process and are very diligent in the way in which they do things. And so I think customers should be, you know, very enthused to work with you all. Yeah. Um, you know, in terms of, uh, um, and at times, you know, uh, and obviously we don't want this at all to happen to most or any clients, but at times, do clients do fall back, you know, on their payments, you know, perhaps going through some hard times themselves, etc. How does the bank deal with these type of individuals? Okay, so the policy of the bank ties in with what the Bank of Ghana um, it gives us. Yeah. So, for the rules, a, um, a customer goes into areas if he doesn't pay for 30 days. Yeah. But remember, the 30 days means that two months. Because within the first month, you're supposed to start payment today. Yeah. If you don't pay today, from next, from now to the next 30 days, yeah. that's when you go into, it becomes arrears. Yeah. Now it becomes payment due. So within this, all these 30 days, up from now to the next 30 days, if you don't pay, then you go into arrears. Mm -hmm. That's 31 days. That's when we see it as a real problem. Yeah. And then we start talking to you, yeah. finding out what might have been gone wrong, yeah. because you're supposed to make monthly payment. Yeah. Now, after the, the second 30 days, which is 60 days yeah. in arrears, yeah. we'll continue prompting you, because the rule says you should finish, you should clear the arrears before the 90th day. Yeah. After 90th day, it has to be moved to collections. But we continue talking to you, talking to you. There have been instances when customers would have lost their work. Mm. Like during COVID time, yeah, yeah. we had a lot of people um, losing their work. In such instance, in that indeed in, during the COVID time, we were the first bank to have given moratorium mm. to our customers. Mm. We wow. give them six months of moratorium. Wow. What that means is, instead of making payment, we say the next six months, you may not be able, you, you can decide not to make payment, but we'll add all the payments and add it to your balance, or you'll be paying subsequently to clear the areas. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we mean by moratorium. Now, we have all the facility there. If you lost your job, you need to communicate that to the bank immediately yeah. for us to know what situation you find yourself. Yeah. Because then we can prescribe the solution what we have to do. You don't have to, because it's a, a relationship that has been established. And remember, that property, the bank has 80% and you have 20%. So the bank's interest in there exceeds yours. 
So you need to communicate with the bank whatever is happening as far as the repayment challenge is concerned. Then, assuming it goes on and continues for 90 days or even 120 days, yeah. but then after four months, you find a new job, you talk to the bank and we can restructure. Mm. Okay, we can restructure the loan, add it to the balance, and yeah. then you start afresh. Wow. So the whole thing is, is a relationship between you and the bank. And I mentioned earlier that a bank is not in the business of selling houses. So we will want as much as possible for the customer to honor his repayments. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So you know, perhaps in I'll just round us with one one last question just around the, the real estate developers that the bank deals with and how they go through sort of in in uh, in approving these developers you know before they are offered to clients of course we touched on this right now but uh, just to give the clients that that you know assurance as well you know in terms of when they are buying who are they buying from are they buying from legitimate people and the steps that the bank takes to just ensure that that is also secure okay so the bank has over 200 real estate developers we do business with these are the real estate developers who over the years have proven to be competent yeah. okay we have not had too many challenges with their products and the customers are happy yeah. with them yeah. and we also sometimes finance properties from individuals so after we have inspected and confirmed that the quality of the building is good. Got it. So to you can work, you can buy from any of those real estate developers that we do business with. Even if there's not a real estate developer we do business with, you can still buy from them Got it. after inspecting and being happy with the product yes. that you have. Okay. Okay. So but to be able to be uh, be taken on as a real estate developer, the bank will take you through some processes, check the title on your land, yeah. check the competence of the real estate developer, yeah. and all many few other things to show that, yes, this is a genuine company, yeah. the bank can do business before we all do on. Okay, fantastic. You know, actually, this has been a wonderful conversation with you, and in fact, I think I've, I've learned quite a bit, and I'm sure our audience has as well. You know, with Cecil Global uh, as, as a company, really our dream and goal is to work with legitimate real estate developers, lawyers, and of course with the top, top banks uh, uh, such as Republic Bank who are offering this leading service and product to customers, right? Then I think there's never been a great opportunity for those in the diaspora, especially uh, to come and own a home in Ghana, uh, own a piece of the cake in Ghana, as you can see, Ghana has become really hot cake, right? Uh, uh, these past few days, few years, uh, with uh, you know the year of return and the influx of demand, even from foreigners, right, who are looking to purchase units here in, in Ghana. What we have found as a company is that there's a massive opportunity, you know, for rental units. Airbnb, in fact, noted to us that Ghana is the fastest growing country on their platform. So. There are wonderful investment opportunities and of course there are wonderful opportunities to own a home here as well, improve your home, build out the home that you want to live in when you retire as well. And uh, uh, for us as a platform, we are here to really assist Republic Bank with you know, taking these clients through the necessary journey and then bringing them to Republic Bank so that it's really stamped and sealed and then they can really provide you with a disbursement in just a few days, even perhaps five days, who knows, as well, right? And so uh, I'm very, very happy to be sort of sitting here with you, Frank. Uh, and uh, thank you very, very much for the time. My pleasure. Uh, and uh, perhaps, you know, before I sign off, I'd like you to perhaps maybe give your parting words uh, to, to those watching. Okay, so um, my conclusion, in conclusion, what I would like to advise is that many years ago, we saw property ownership as a place for a boat. Mm. But today, it's not like that. Ownership of property is a source of wealth creation. So whether you live abroad or in Ghana, if you want to create wealth for yourself, log in, buy a property. If you don't have the money, take a mortgage from Republic Bank and we will help you get it. And over the years, you'll be happy you did because the equity you have created
cannot in any way be compared to the savings that you would have made from your normal income. Thank you. Thank you very much. Those are excellent words. And uh, yeah, from here at Cecil Global, again, we are here to assist clients who are looking to source purchase and finance a home, uh, we're very, very happy to be working with Republic Bank on this. Uh, please feel free to contact us. Our, our, our details are in the description below and our platform is also in the description below. Uh, this is a one of a kind platform where you can find approved properties by Republic Bank off plan and fully built units, right? That you can find uh, sort of to purchase a property in Ghana utilizing uh, um, the mortgages provided by Republic Bank. And so, Again, thank you all for listening and uh, you obviously hear from us very, very soon. We've helped several clients with this, with this mortgage and we want to help several hundreds more you know, own a home this year in Ghana. We call this year the year of mortgages uh, and we're very happy to be doing this with Republic Bank. So thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you again.